hate this thing. It's so stupid. Wait, I can show you the way, son. Hey guys, Nicholas Vanish here. This is going to be my 3x3x3 Rubik's Cube solve tutorial. Um, this might be a little long-winded because I'm trying to do get it all in one take, um, but stick with me, guys. I'm hoping this is going to be one of the fastest basic solving methods on YouTube here. Uh, I wouldn't be making it if it wasn't any different than the hundreds that are already out there, but mine is a little bit different. Uh, I'm going to be doing a hybrid of the Friedrich method and the uh, standard method. The standard method being one of the longest methods, though it is slightly easier. Uh, the Friedrich method is more um, intuitive, so you yourself uh, does more of the stuff and you don't have to memorize too many algorithms. Um, so, here, let's get started. The basic thing that you need to know is two things when going into solving the Rubik's Cube, which I, make, which I kind of find makes the whole solving experience easier. The first thing is knowing the notation. The no notation for a standard Rubik's, uh, Rubik's Cube is... Um, R for right, L for left, F for front, U for up, and D for down. Um, right being the right side, left being left side, up, front, and down. Um, if you see a comma next to uh, the letter, uh, so say for example R comma, that would be an R counterclockwise. A standard R is just R clockwise. Uh, it's very simple. Uh, R clockwise, and then an R comma is R counter is right counterclockwise. I don't know how else to explain that. Um, in certain other algorithms that you might learn, B would be the backside, um, but we're not going to be using any algorithms with that. So now let's get into how you're going to be solving this. First off, we're going to be making a white cross here that will align all these centers. Then we're going to be filling in these two by one blocks in all the corners. And then we're going to be doing the yellow cross up here while forming them to the centers. And then we're going to be orienting the centers here. And then we're going to be turning them in the proper directions. Don't worry guys if this sounds complicated. It's way easier than it looks. So basically what you want to do to start off is you want to make a white cross on this side. And in order to do that, you just take the white edge pieces right here. And you just put them right here. So you're going to look for them one right here. You're just going to flip it and go like that. There's no real algorithms for this. Nothing that I could teach you that's going to make this easier because every cube is different. White right here. Turn that up. Then there's one right here. I'm just going to go like that. So I made white, 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 and then yellow. Uh, if you guys don't like using the white side for some reason, you can really use any side. You could use the red side and then just put, or if you guys can make the uh, orange cross and then just put all the orange edge pieces on this side and just do it that way. I just like doing the white side, just make it like that and put the orange edge pieces. Uh, you can use any side, just, you, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. So anyway, we're going to be using the white side and basically what you have to do now, once you have the four edge pieces, is pick any one, it doesn't have to be a specific one, say for instance this green one, you're going to line that up with the green center, which is right here, and then you're going to flip it around, so that it's up there, green center, up there, it's pretty simple. Blue, blue and white, you're going to line that up with the blue center, and flip it up. White and orange, align that up with the orange, just happens to be there, and blue or white and red, align that up and flip it up. So now you have the white cross, uh, You, if any of these corners match up, it doesn't matter, uh, that's just, we're going to end up mixing that up later, uh, because they're not in the right spots, they might look like it, but they're not. So, you have the uh, cross right here, and they're all matched up with the centers, and now we're going to be doing the 2 by one blocks that fit in right here. Uh, it's pretty simple, this is where we switch over to the Friedrich method, because in standard method, you have to use an algorithm to get the corner blocks in here, and then you have to use an even longer algorithm to put the edge blocks here. That I don't really want to teach you guys, because it is, I'm not going to say very difficult, but it is just annoying to have to memorize these algorithms. Um, so basically what you have to do is just look at the top layer for a white block. So this is one with a white, this is the white edge, this is the only white blocks you'll see white edge pieces. You won't see any edges because all the edges are down here. 
So say this one for example, the white, green, and red edge piece. Now we're gonna, since it has green and red, we're going to look for the green and red... No, uh, this is a corner piece, sorry. We're going to be looking for the green and red edge piece, which is right here. We're going to flip that up, move it out of the way so we can flip that back down. You don't want to mess up anything that's on this bottom face, so if you, any, if you ever flip something up, you always want to flip it back down, okay? And as you can see, this one's already done, so we can move that into place whenever. Uh, I, I suggest if you get any of these, just move them in place as fast as possible so that you don't mess them up, but uh, it makes for a faster solve. So anyway, let's get back to this. So you got the white, green, and red corner piece, and then over here you got the green and red piece. Now there's three different scenarios which you can run into when doing this Jessica Friedrich uh, method for uh, first two layers. Uh, this will be the first of them. So if the white is facing up, then this is what you have to do. You find the other one, you have to have the uh, piece that it's going with on the opposite side of the cube, so the adjacent side, or the opposite, sorry, not adjacent, the opposite side. So whatever side, so what, and then when you look at that cube, you hold it like this, and whatever, uh, whatever color is on the outside of the cube, you align that with that side. So this is red on this side, so I align it with the red center. Then whatever side's on the top, you turn it to the opposite face. So there's green on the top, I want to turn it the opposite way. So I'm going to turn it towards the blue. And then what you have to do is you have to turn the top layer of the cube until the white, green, and red ed uh, corner piece aligns with the edge piece. And then after that, you're just going to flip it up, turn it back over, and then flip it down. Okay, it's very simple. You just flip it up, turn it over, flip it down. Flip it up, turn it over, flip it down. You know what I mean. And then you're going to have the two pieces like that. After you have the two pieces like this, you're just going to find the place where they line up. So where does, where does the green and red go? It goes right here. But somehow I messed something up back there, so I'm just going to flip that back down. It goes right here. Green, or sorry, green and red. So you're going to pop that. So we're going to, so the white has to go here. So you turn it like that turn this like that so that you can push it back into place and then flip it down and there you go you've solved one of the two by one little sections there the second scenario which you can run into is something that looks like this where the white piece is on the side uh, so you do the same thing as before green and orange and then the white's there so this is green and orange we're gonna flip that up flip it over and then push that back down okay so green White, green, and orange. Green and orange is right here. So this scenario, because you look at the top, that this is green and this is green. So you have to do if the both if both top colors are the same, then you're going to flip this white edge or white corner piece down. Then you're going to move the edge piece to where it needs to go, and then flip this back up. And there you go. You just connected the two pieces that need to be together. You just do the same thing as before. You find the corner where they need to go up, slide them in, and push it back down. There you go. You just solved another two by one square. The third and final orientation in which, uh, or scenario in which you can run into for solving the first two layers would be this one where, let's see if I have it set up properly. Nope, don't have it set up properly. Let's just do that, 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 and there we go. So this is the third one. White, red, and blue. But this red and blue, uh, the, they're not the same color. So I can't go like flip this down and then move that over because if I do that, then I push it back up and they're opposite to each other. So what I have to do is, it's very simple. You go over here. Uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, you go over here to the edge, uh, the corner piece, and you're going to flip it up so that you're pushing it from over here to be over here. So you have to make sure that they're opposite each other again. So you flip this over here, but before you do that, you want to. Sorry, I didn't go over this. You want to make sure that the corner is over where it's supposed to be. So this is the red and blue corner piece. You want it over the red and blue. You're gonna flip it, push that over and then drop it down. So right, up, 
and down. That's the algorithm, basically. Or if it's over the left side, so if the white was in your left hand, you'd go left, up, in, or you'd go left, up inverted, down. Something like that. Uh, it's pretty intuitive in what you have to do. If you have to go back and look over the video, uh, go for it. Um, but as it stands, you should be at this part where you have the first two layers done, the bottom face done, the only thing you haven't done is the top layer, this part. So the basic of this part, what you want to do now is you're going to make a yellow cross. You're going to get all these edge pieces right here solved, and then you're going to get all the corner pieces solved. For now, we don't want to worry about the corner pieces, we're just worrying about the edge pieces. This is, this is where the real algorithms start kicking in, and where you need to know them. So what you do at the beginning is you look at the yellow, the yellow pieces here. Depending on what you have, when you have the yellow dot, uh, this is the one that you can, this is one of the four cases that you can run into after you finish the first two layers. Either you're in a yellow dot, if you had a yellow dot, just do this algorithm. Front, right, up, right inverted, front inverted. If you get this L, you're going to hold that in the top left corner. Hold it like this so that whatever side's in the front, so this is top left corner. And you're going to do the same algorithm. Front, right, up, right inverted, up inverted, front inverted. After you do that, if you had the little L, you're going to end up with this line. No matter what, you're going to end up with this line after the L. You're going to end up with the L after the dot and so on. If you get this L at the beginning, just do the same algorithm, hold the L, hold the line so it's horizontally, and then go front, right, up, right inverted, up inverted, front inverted, and then you're going to get the yellow cross, which is where you're supposed to be. After you get the yellow cross, you're going to try and line up these edge pieces so that you get two of them in a row that are the same. So this green one and this Red one. Oh crap, guys, sorry, I was looking in my camera lens, or the uh, camera frame, which the colors are really screwed up. So, you have this orange piece and this blue piece, which are lined up. So, you want two of them that are adjacent to each other, two sides that are connected to each other, that line up. This edge piece, the yellow edge pieces, line up. Doesn't matter what these two are, just these ones line up. And what you're going to do is you're going to hold them in your right hand, so... One in the right hand, one in the back. And you're going to go, you're going to do this algorithm. After you do that algorithm, all the sides should line up. Uh, sorry, I didn't say that algorithm, it's because I don't really remember it. All the uh, algorithms which I say, um, I kind of forget them because once you do them for a long enough time, you just remember them, they're just in your mind, you don't even have to think of the moves. Uh, so it will be down there for you guys that need to that uh, are reading it. So basically, now that you have all the four center pieces, what you want to do is you want to get these corner pieces. So they may look like they're all right, but when you look at them, they're all in the wrong spots. Basically, what you want to do is you want to flip these corner pieces around so that they're in the right spots. It doesn't really matter what orientation this corner is in. It could have been yellow here, red here, and green here. It doesn't really matter. So when you find it, you're going to do this algorithm. After you do that, you're going to check if all the corners are in the right spots. In this case, they all are in the right spots. They're just not oriented properly. And what you're going to do is you're going to hold one of them in your right hand. And then you're going to do this algorithm until the yellow is on top. So, you ready? Right inverted, down inverted, right down. Right inverted, down inverted, right, down. And the yellow's here. It's going to look like you're mixing up the cube even more, but it's like magic. It works out at the end. Right inverted, down inverted, right, down. Right inverted, down inverted, right, down. You're going to do the flip the top until the next one's in place. Right inverted, down inverted, right, down. Right inverted, down inverted, right, down. And then there you go. You should have a solved Rubik's Cube. Right there. Uh, if you guys have any questions, please put them in the comment section below, and I will make a new video explaining any question that you guys have for this video. So here's me solving the Rubik's Cube.
So with this handy little app over here, I'm going to show you guys how fast it takes me to solve the Rubik's Cube using the same method that I just taught you guys. Uh, I have been doing it a little bit longer. Hopefully it works out for you guys and you guys can solve it faster than me. Make a video response if you can solve it faster than this because I'm pretty sure there's at least one of you who can. Uh, so, crap, I started solving it already. That's cheating. There. Now I'm going to start the timer and cue speed up right now. One minute and 45 seconds. So, there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you guys figure out if you have any problems again. Just tell me in the comments below and I will make video responses to this video. Or if there's enough problems, I'll make a whole new video. Uh, if you guys have any, like, real troubles, then I haven't commented back yet. Uh, I suggest going out and checking out another video, though I'm 100% sure I will comment back to you guys within, like, a day's time of you posting the comment if not less, and that's it, and hope you enjoy it again, and if you guys want more videos, like tutorials like this, tell me, and uh, it's getting really long-winded, making this video super long, and I'm going to have to edit it all, and it's going to be really stupid, and peace!